Hey guys, welcome back to another episode <laughs> of Guitar of the Day. I'm your host, Michael Lemo, and I can't talk because I'm drooling. Because <laughs> of this guitar? <laughs> yes, this guitar's got me drooling. I've been drooling since the age of two. <laughs> Nothing's changed. Anyway, wow. We have a really cool guitar today, but also we are going to the Golden Heart Awards tonight as a store, I believe, right, Jen? Mm -hmm. You're going? We're all going. And who are they honoring? Smokey Robinson. Yeah. Never seen him in person. That would be pretty cool. It's for the Midnight Mission. Don't worry, I'm not going to look like this. <laughs> but I will be there. You will notice me somewhere. <laughs> Jen, I'm sure we'll be taking photos and videos, but we're going to have a great time. And uh, what else we got going on? Norm is at the Dallas Guitar Show. Um, he already bought 30-something guitars. And oh, my god! I know. It's like day one. So <laughs> <laughs> you do the math. <laughs> we're going to have a lot of stuff coming our way, but we're very excited about it. Um, what else we got? I feel like that's... Oh, my show's coming up November 16th. We're going to post the link so you guys can get straight to it. Uh, you can click the link. And I think there's only 50 tickets available online. From you. From me. <laughs> yes. But you can get them at the door, but still, from me. And then each one's going to be signed. By you. By me. And mailed. And mailed. We'll mail it right to you. So by if you guys want to come to the show, by me. <laughs> Everything's going to be by me. <laughs> so yeah, if you want to come check the show, come out. Uh, I'd appreciate it. It'd be fun. Um, and it's been a while. I'm a little nervous. Last you time I was really this nervous, nervous was when I started doing this, and I'm still nervous. Jeez, all right. You don't even think you could sell 50 tickets. I think you could sell more than that. I don't know. <laughs> I've never sold 50 tickets in my life. Okay, loser. <laughs> no. First bay. All right, anyway, we got a really cool guitar today. Let's go back. So this is a beautiful... 1961 Gibson Hummingbird. Ooh, I like this. Yeah, this one is crazy. Now, I know we did one, I think it was even last week we did one, but this one is just so beautiful, and it's a 61. 60 was the first year they did this guitar, was when it was presented, so 61 was the first full year of production for the Hummingbird. So they're starting to hit the stride. It's the first full year. Um, beautiful guitar, and at the time, I think we discussed last time, it was the second most expensive guitar for Gibson uh, acoustic guitars at the time, and it's a dreadnought body. Um, beautiful condition, this one. It's meant, there's a few marks here, but you can see. Pretty wow. freaking clean. <laughs> this is just one of the most beautiful acoustics in general, but definitely hummingbirds I've seen. Um, so you got mahogany back and sides. Really clean. You got that spruce top, mahogany neck, rosewood fretboard, rosewood bridge. Uh, and then you got the square shoulders, which this was the first Gibson guitar to kind of show that. If you notice, they kind of really flatten out at the top there. Um, and then you have the long, ornate pick guard, which is famous to the hummingbird. There she is. Um, and then you also have the double parallelogram inlays. Um, really cool. And then you got the classic Gibson crown. Um, what else we got? We got the gold Colson tuners. Really cool. So clean. Um, but I think one of the coolest things about this guitar is how even it is. Um, you strum it and it's just... Actually, you know what? It, it fits the name. It's like a hummingbird. You know, they kind of got that... Zzz. It just sits there and rings. It seriously does. It's, it's just a... A, a singing guitar. Um, I always feel like the hummingbirds have a lot of songs in them. Um, and so we're going to take it out front. I'm going to put it in a little different of a tuning because it's it's such a chimey guitar. Uh, so we're going to take it out front and see what we can do before we go to the party tonight. Woo -woo! We're going to raise some money from the homeless. Yeah, for the homeless. For woo -woo! the homeless. Woo -woo! Woo -woo! Woo -woo! Woo -woo! Come on, hurry. So okay, we get okay, dressed. Okay, okay, okay. We're out front with the 1961 Gibson Hummingbird. Uh, beautiful example. Uh, we're going to start off in a dad gad tuning. Um, this is a song called Holding On that I wrote a long time ago. Here we go. Thank you. 
Cool. Now we're gonna tune it up. I can do it by ear by now. <laughs> Berkeley has taught me many things, and one is to tune. Okay. Psych. <laughs> no, <it's good. laughs> Apparently not actually. Pretty bad at it. Let me show you where the tuner is. Here we go. <laughs> Last but not least, one of my favorite acoustic pieces I wrote. Another alternate tuning. Here we go. Let's see what it's got. This guitar is so even, it's beautiful. Let's check it out. There you have it. You're right, Todd. That will work. Thank you so much. <laughs> that sounded great. That was perfect when he did that. Let's not joke. All right. 1961 Gibson Hummingbird. One of the best acoustic guitars I've played yet. And a beautiful example. You can check out these guitars at normansrareguitars.com and also on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, we're having a great week here, and Norm will be back with a bunch of new guitars. Uh, I'm your host, Michael Lemo, and I will see you tomorrow for a special Strider Day. Bye.